math and science. In this video, let's learn how to find the LCM, lowest or least common multiple, and the GCF, greatest common factor, of 3, 7, and 8. And I like to use a factor tree for each of these. So let's get started. First, 3 is a prime number, so uh, to factor it, you just have 3. 7 is the same thing. And then a factor tree for 8 goes like this. Let's begin by 2 times 4. Circle the 2 because it is prime. And then 2 times 2 equals 4. Circle them because they're prime and I'm down to prime numbers. Now I'm going to create a factor chart. So I'm going to write all the factors of 3, which is 3. Then I'm going to write all the factors for 7, which is 7. And then I'm going to write the factors for 2. For, excuse me, for 8. I don't have a 3 or 7 with 8, so I'm going to start here. I'm going to write 2. 2, and 2. Okay, so now for the least common multiple, what you do is, um, I'm going to move this 7 down to here so it makes a little bit more sense, is you just multiply all the factors together. And there's one exception. If you have um, a pair, then you only multiply it once. But there are no pairs, so I'm just going to multiply 3, times 2, times 2, times 2, times 7. And when you multiply all this together, you get 168. Okay? Now, for the greatest common factor, what you do is you have to have at least three of the same numbers in order to multiply it. So you don't have three threes or three seven or three twos. So since you have no triplets, since you have three numbers, then the GCF is one. So the lowest common multiple of three, seven, and eight is 168, and the GCF is one. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.